Hello everyone, welcome back to Moonlighter. We've opened up the fifth door. I don't know what that means, but we're about to go find out. We've basically spent all of the money we can possibly spend, and we've upgraded ourselves to the max. So... No idea what's gonna happen here. Yeah, this, uh, this looks quite a bit like a final dungeon. Like a final boss, one might say. Oh, dude, are we gonna get the lore? Are we gonna fight her? Dude, dude, just pipes with the green slime? That clearly represents some kind of intentionality. Like it was built with the slime to maintain the dungeons, and this is how they maintain it. Or rather, how they uh, direct how the rooms move around. This is Science Center. Are those dead people, or do they kind of look like aliens? In fact, that one kind of looks like he has an assault rifle. That might just be me, though. Okay, that, that's clearly aliens. This is this is clearly aliens. We've got bug creatures of some kind. Oh, and they were defeated by the guard. Did they did they set up like an AI of some kind that that was working on trying to protect this establishment? Is that a creature or is that a slime? Does that have a, a humanoid body? Like it kind of looks like the two sections down here are legs. A little cod piece that I'm trying to walk up against. And there's just a dead dude on top of the face. I'm sure it'll be explained here. Oh, look at me. I'm a rude ass. I'm a rude bastard. Realm tears. You can see other aspects other, other, of the other dungeon types or something else entirely. Trash cans. Just, just trash cans. Okay. So these guys were the progeners, probably. They set up this place to start out probably for research purposes. And one of their research things got away from them. And either the green goo became sentient, sentient, decided it needed to protect itself from its creators. Although we've got what look like sort of more humanoid, like human-sized, but they're clearly not. They're aliens as well. I mean, look at their faces. They got like rider masks. And that is just an alien. Okay, cool. We got lore tablets. We got lore tablets for days. I don't know what order these are supposed to be read in. So I'm gonna start on the left. It's been over two months since we shut ourselves away in here. Resources are running low. Where is that minion to set us free? Meanwhile, we have started development on Prototype L. That looked kind of like this creature. So we got three different races of entities in here. Does this thing just show up on different planets? Like, is it teleporting around as well as it allows us to teleport to the different rooms? Are these rooms not on this planet? Is that how that works? It's not impossible space. That stupid mi minotaur? That stupid This is pretty kick ass. There is only, there is only way to escape. Whoops, I think that is a typo. Supercharge the dimensional engine. Crash into another dimension. Okay, yeah, so alien research facility that they're stuck in. And they tried to make a way out by crashing it into Earth. Or crash the void. Anything looks better than starving to death. Yeah, that's an interesting concept. Would you rip apart the universe because you are about to die? Seems incredibly selfish. Although the results aren't incredibly catastrophic. Nickelodeon. Reports indicate the watch are on our tail trail. 
We may have to seal ourselves away to mask our signal. The Watch. So either this is an illegal alien setup going on here, and they were going to get busted, so they locked themselves in a pocket dimension. Maybe these are the space marines, and they're here to kill them. And uh, this this is a different alien race. I think I think the one that was standing over next to the thing is the race doing the research. I think it's this race. I don't think that that race is the same as this. I think that's the three races we've got. We've got like the journey race with the one eye and the coat. Big old bull, big old burly space marines, and stereotypical aliens doing research. We've been forced to enact Operation Shut the Fucking Front Door. <laughs> That's a fantastic operation name. The minion is to shut ourselves in using four keys. It will then hide those until the watchers stop looking for us in this sector. We predict a month should be adequate amount of time to lose them. I wonder if they're intentionally supposed to speak in kind of broken English because it's not English. Although, how the hell am I reading it? Like, why am I able to read these? Ignoring the problems brewing, we've nearly finished Prototype L's chamber. Okay, cool. So, the final boss is just their bored passion project while they wait for the minion to unlock them, who apparently never did, because the minion probably died. Oh! Oh, that's what the orange one was! The minion! The green one was part of the Guardian, was part of the, like, the machines turning on us. Maybe that's Prototype L. Maybe that'll be the final boss. But the orange guy was definitely the minion who was trying to find the keys, but he couldn't defeat the Guardians. The boss really wants to try the new body, but we're unsure if it's safe yet. The new body? Are they the green stuff? Is that what's going on? Because they all have the green, like, glowy bits on them. That guy's got a green face. He's literally glowing right there. And the alien body that we saw over here. Yeah, he's also got a green eye and a green stomach. Dude, these are literally just puppets. These aren't different races. Did they all go insane? So this green stuff is the aliens? Like, does it maintain some semblance of consciousness? Liquid consciousness. Don't drink it. Prototype L is finally f finished. Finally a failure? This is getting out of hand. Several clear workers went mad and were instantly killed by the soldiers. Two problems solved with one solution. The riots and the lack of food. So they have a soldier class. Probably the soldier bodies. They instantly went mad though? The fuck is that about? Escape from this tomb seems to be fading away as a possibility. Three months going now. Our soldiers had to put an end to some riots last week. We need to find a way to escape. Huh. I gotta say, be it a fantasy setting, I was not expect. I mean, I kind of expected this, but I really didn't expect it to be so in my face about the fact that it's aliens and that it's sci-fi. I love sci-fi, by the way, so this game's instantly gone up a notch on the out of 10 scale. Uh, fourth level. Body prototype development from other dimensional tech is proving successful. Each variation seems to have a lower percentage of body rejection. Dude, are they gonna- are we, am I gonna have a Dead Space 2 battle of the minds as it tries to take over my body? This next set of dimensions are looking to be very promising. With enough synthetic and natural resources from them, we can start prototype G. Oh, okay. So are the other... No, the other dungeons are where the guardians are. And they're on the outside of this room. This room's completely locked off. But did they have access to the other dungeons in order to gain raw materials? As, like, proto-universes that were just dungeons with tile sets. Being generated from some unknown energy source. Converting energy into matter or something. Escape from this tomb seems to be fading away as... Oh, yep. We saw that one. That was rude. We already read all of these, right? Yep. Alright. I believe we've read everything that we need to for these. I realized 
<laughs> I brought up the concept, hey, hey, Moonlighter's actually science fiction. And like, hey, is it uh, so far in the future that it's the past again trope? I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm just going to be like, b like this thing. Oh, <laughs> I can move him around. Hey, can I push him out of... Dude, that's not supposed to happen. He shouldn't be in my dimension. Well, slime wall. Slime wall seems bad. Yeah, that's the first zone. I think we've seen all of them now. Maybe not tech zone. Hi there, buddy. How are you? Well, I believe we have now enacted to close the door on ourselves. Do we get spit back out again if we die? Or is this not a boss? Um, excuse me? The last dimensional pirate? What? Looks like somebody finally came to help us. These are no ancient ruins, boy. We are pirates. Me, my now dead men, and you. So many centuries trapped here. Must make up for lost time. Rebuild my crew pillage countless more systems. For your assistance, I thank you. And I will allow you to leave, boy. Hey, hey, where's the option to join the interdimensional pirates? I said leave? Are we just dumb? Like, can I not control? Yeah, I can't control the character. Oh, I get it. He kills us to make us leave. Interdimensional pirates. Wait, if all their men are dead, do they not have shell bodies? Is this like an actual dude? Then what was with all of like the special cores that they all had? Wow, you hit me so hard. Where are you even aiming? Are you even trying? Can I have your negative energy sword, please? I bet that would hurt if you hit me with it. It's too bad you can't. <laughs> <coughs> Bless me. Sorry. Um, like, legit? Can I please join the pirate crew? Like, I'm showing you I'm clearly good enough. Yeah? I can be the archer. I can be the archer class in future games that people can pick. This is so cool. You got one of my health bars. I feel like I'm the Sephiroth of this boss fight. I'm the one with a billion health bars that he has to fight. Hey, what makes me so good? Pirates. Not necessarily bad people. You know, in the past, pirates, they used to exist because of the fact that the government that made them just didn't anticipate that they would need to employ them afterwards. <coughs> Every time you end up in a situation where you have many, many skilled men unemployed, that's when you end up with hoodlums and very bad crimes. Oh boy. Oh boy! He's got rockets! He's got rockets! And like, super speed! Is this just what happens for the rest of the boss fight? No? Okay, cool. That was cool. Okay, so he's just a jelly slime riding in a mech. But yeah, um, I forget. Shit. And I'm blanking on it. It was war at the time, and it was England versus... Someone? Versus various people? Or European continent, anyway. And then, effectively, they it, they were hiring privateers. But after the war ended, you had a bunch of people who were really good at piracy. Yeah, he's just a... He's just like a sea slug. Um... Is he absorbing all of his friend's essence and becoming the mega sea slug? What? Oh, okay. I thought that was me he just grabbed and pulled into his body. Okay, I should probably dodge those better. But yeah, you had a bunch of men who were just... They didn't have any anything to do or anywhere to go. 
and the only thing that they were really good at was piracy, because they were being paid for it. And suddenly their jobs just stopped. So they were like, yeah, sure, I'll do more piracy. Okay. Oh, okay. This is cool. I still have five potions! Ah, uh, you... I hope you have more health than this. Can I join your crew yet? Dude, I want to be an interdimensional pirate. Dude, the slimes that didn't make any sense, but they were in every dungeon? It's just because that they were, like, primordial pirates. Dude, what, what the hell kind of concept is that? Primordial pirates. I'm shooting you. Put that wall down. No one wants to see that. Ah! Jeez! Oh, it's not initial. It's not specifically to like draw me into his body. It's just so he can do this section. Oh, oh damn it! That's two potions. Oh, it's the remix. And, uh, the music. The music is a remix of the entry theme. Okay, potion. I probably didn't need to do two there. I wasn't paying attention again. This is exactly how I would want this kind of game to end. Damn it. I gotta dodge both at the same time. Oh, he swings faster than he throws out tentacle dudes. Alright, here he's gonna go with another suck. If he doesn't die first. Oh, no. He decided he was gonna go with walls. Please don't make third form super hard. Yeah, that's fine. the dungeon falling apart his interdimensional because he tried to absorb too much of the generator that was holding them in the dungeon or um <clears throat> the whole of wait what the fuck is that is that the orange dude oh it's the aliens who's been looking for the pirates listen here now you can't just shut down the dungeons and forbid entry just who do you think you are old man uh, look, these dungeons, they're structures built from pieces of other dimensions with the sole purpose of allowing easy and streamlined looting for pirates. At your late age, did you really think all these artifacts just grew on trees? You, sir, will address myself with proper respect. You are an outsider here. If all you say is true, why appear now? The dungeons have been here for a lifetime. Sir, this is a very complicated matter. Could... If... Uh... Please excuse myself if my manners are not of top priority. We've been looking for them for well over one of your lifetimes. We lost track of them over the geyser dimension. The geyser dimension. And have been unable to track them ever since. Some beacon of theirs must have been recently activated allowing us to locate this world. You keep saying them. Who are these them? <laughs> dimensional pirates. Fucking dimensional fucking pirates. <laughs> A race of creatures made completely of dimensional fluid. All right. Okay, cool. So they're both... They're both interdimensional looting entities, and they're also made of dimensional fluid. Because of this, they developed interdimensional traveling tech very quickly. Instead of sharing their knowledge, they took to stealing from other dimensions. According to our reports, they should be hiding just beyond that door. <sighs> Bloop. Who is that boy? Isn't he a pirate? Is he? Of course he isn't. Well... What a sorry looking kid. You kid I beat the pirate overlord, alright? Don't call me a sorry looking kid. I got a bow. I can shoot sticks with pointy bits on them. You said what? 
you waged battle against a jellyfish robot? <laughs> that must have been their boss. Never liked that guy. And you said there's no more creatures inside? They all killed each other because... Because they were trapped in there? Oh, this is rich. Almost too good to be true. Please wait here a moment as I discuss the current situation with my crew. Oh my god. You there, Lieutenant. Disperse this crowd. We need space. Hey. Except for the old man and the youngling that just fell out of the door. Oh my god. Okay, I will give two firm handshakes to the developers of this game. Thieves. All of them. Alright, people. Nothing to see here. You're at the captain. You don't have to go home. But, well, you should probably go home. Might be the last time you see it. No, that's cute. Might be the last time you see it? What are they, are they gonna nuke the planet? Okay, enough with your, your battle hype, dude. Calm the hell down. Upon discussion, I have come to a conclusion. For taking part in the theft of other dimensional artifacts, everyone on this planet will be arrested. At least... Technically, we should do that. But, this young boy served his part in helping us locate these pirates, and even went so far as to defeat the pirate boss. For now, let's just say the thieving won't be included in my report. And as far as I can see, we do not need to invest in further investigation. We will be shutting down these dungeons, though. These continued use of this would be knowingly illegal action at this point. We should not leave you high and dry, though. Due to your contact with other dimensional cultures, we can't just leave you be. Honestly, I would like to just wipe all your memories, but oh man, did that become taboo for a reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah, these guys seem like cool people. That planet never recovered. It just wasn't the same. Anyway, back to uh, the now. We will be inviting you to take part in the DCT, the Dimensional Commerce Treaty. We will allow you to legally trade and act on commerce with other dimensions. The preparation to include you and your planet will take some time, though. For now, please inform your people and prepare them for the coming days. All right. I'd call this a win. Let's back it up. We will return with the treaty soon, guys. It's been real. It's uh, been a pleasure. I wouldn't go so far as to say a real pleasure, but you guys get it. Oh, yeah! And don't tell anyone you use the dungeons. Or we will come arrest everyone. Okay, see ya. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Out of all of the possible endings that this game could have had, I'm still a little confused as to what just transpired, but I have to say it would appear that you have done this town and our world a great service, Will. Next time, though, can you just listen to me and stay home? Yeah, we have uh, unknowingly... I mean, the pirates put themselves here. But had no one done anything, the interdimensional police would have never found them. And we'd have infinite looting. Next time, though, can you just listen to me and stay home? This is just too much excitement for my old bones. Let us return to town and spread the good news. Hmm. <laughs> Huh. Wow. That's... That's pretty... Mm-hmm. I like it. I mean, you end up with a lot of very... take-itself-too-seriously kind of endings for games that are effectively kind of... You know, driven the way that this one is. I played uh, Subnautica recently, and it... kind of used the same concept of it being a tech tree-based game but it very clearly made it have an appreciable end. Because I've played a lot of these tech tree kind of games, and in the past it usually results in games that either go on for too long, or games that just get to the point where, all right, you beat the game, it's endless mode, but there's no designation that that happened. It's just like, congratulations, here you are. Here's your, here's your certificate. Ah. Music composers did a really good job, too. Absolutely wonderful game. Uh, 
That's not to say that I don't have a soft spot for science fiction, though. <laughs> Motherfucking interdimensional pirates! Like, okay, green goo, what could that be? Well, we've got slimes. Slimes are a fantasy trope. Cool. Alright. We're running through fantasy dungeons. Except, oh, wait, what's this? Now we're in a tech dungeon. Alright, it's not quite fantasy anymore, but it's still, you know, we live in a fantasy world. Oh! Okay! These were literally created to be plundered by space pirates, who were, for all intents and purposes, the fantasy slimes. Fantasy Slime Space Pirates. And they all went mad? I suppose if you exist as an, an amorphous blob that needs bodies to jump into, and you're a creature that effectively exists seamlessly across multiple dimensions, you probably would go mad if you get stuck in one. I mean, I, I imagine being stuck in a single dimension is probably the equivalent to them as it would be for a human being in a sensory deprivation... Well, not a sensory deprivation chamber, but like, uh, uh... Uh... Fuck. What's the name of... Or the concept of putting somebody in a room where they can't tell the time of day and they don't have anything to do? It's just a room. Like, they have a bed and some food and water and they can go to the bathroom, but they can't tell the passage of time. You know, the solitary confinement, that's what it is. We go crazy with solitary confinement, because we need people to talk to, and we need things to stimulate our mind. Or we basically fall apart. Our brain kind of shuts down, because it doesn't have anything to do. It's actually kind of a funny thing, too. Well, not, not funny. It's interesting. If you put somebody in a cemetery deformation chamber long enough, they go brain dead before their body would die, because there's just no stimulus. Kind of think about your brain as a bunch of water droplets on a big, big lake. And death is a completely flat, non-moving lake. So you've got wind going across it and water droplets hitting it and people splashing in the lake. And all those ripples are interacting with one another. And that's how you create consciousness and personality. You've got a variety of things coming in. And then you've got the processing that happens on those things. But after all the inputs stop, there's only so much processing that you can do. And eventually, because of physics, because of the limitation of energy there, because of the limitation of how our, you know, as a machine, how we work, those ripples eventually cease to exist. And it's just nothingness. And with nothingness comes atrophy, and with atrophy comes death. So, I don't know. I would think being locked in a room with someone, eventually you'd probably go mad and try to kill each other. Probably the same way as these guys. And they were effectively locked into a room. It looked like they had stuff to do, but... I mean, they were working on projects and making new bodies to put themselves in. The prototype. We never did see the, um... Orange slime, though. Unless I'm misinterpreting something. And then the pirate boss was, like, the least primordial out of all of them. He had form. He was his own... squishy amoeba dude. Instead of just being green slime. Although there was a lot of green slime in there. So, how does that play into, like, what makes up those interdimensional pirates? Is that their life essence, or is that just food to them? What What is their plump, may I ask? <laughs> what makes up their consciousness if they're a squishy creature? I think that's pretty much it for this. Jeez, we're only on D's. A lot of people are back to this game. That's good. It's always really nice to see crowdfunded games actually come to fruition. Cough, cough, a star citizen. A cough, cough. I mean, they're trying, but that is a troubled development if I've ever seen one. And uh, I think the other... The only example that I can really point to to say masterpiece because crowdfunded... Uh, Hat in Time. Really, really good. I've crowdfunded a handful of games, but I've never been so happy with a crowdfunded game as I am with Hat in Time. And I'll probably play that in the future, because I've not actually beaten it. I've done, like, the first two worlds, I think. That's how they separate them. Escape pod games. Feisty dog. Fernando! I made it through a bunch of those episodes without my controller dying. Because I stopped using my rechargeable one. I cheated. I'm a big dumb loser pants. 
Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to sit here and watch the entirety of the credits. I'm gonna press the A button. Okay, I'm gonna press the start button. I found a bug! I pressed the start button on the credit screen, and that's supposed to be the start menu, but it didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah, there's a start menu behind this. You can hear it clicking. Alright, um... Yeah, let's just speed it up. Because I do want to see the end of the credits if there's anything actually worth looking at. Fucking interdimensional pirates. What kind of uh, d and is, is that a tabletop trope? Or is it like a legit uh, categorization? Uh, you've, you've got lawful... Neutral and evil. Uh, chaotic. No, chaotic, neutral, and... Fuck, I can't remember. Uh, lawful, neutral, evil, chaotic, neutral, and... Ordered? Or la lawful, that's what it is. No, lawful... Shit! Fucking hell. I can't remember. This bothers me. Lawful, neutral, chaotic... Images. True neutral. Oh, good and evil. Wow. Yeah, I'm super smart. Okay, we're in town again. Just like that. Hello, doggy. Um. Did they shut down the... I mean, they're still taking the health damage. Did they say anything? So each key to the fifth door was found after defeating the guardians just as crazy Peter did you not catch up on the, the whole there's big aliens did you miss that also who was that standing right there you're, you're a cutie I am shocked by all of the recent discoveries surrounding the dungeons when crosses the doors they actually travel to a new dimension a dimension built with chunks of other dimensions I wonder how that works is it just like a portal they just pop in but there's like each of the doors are constantly portals, or do they actually rearrange it? And the doors are just locked up. Can I enter the other dungeons? I, ca I can't. So they've only locked up the end game. Well, that's it for me. I have no reason to continue. This cannot continue. This isn't really Stardew Valley. I can't marry everybody I want. Give me harem or give me death. Well, I didn't get to sell the final books, but that's okay. At least this is a cool place now. I'm a gold bud. What was that? Cool. Well, thanks for joining me on this fantastical pirate adventure. <laughs> I'll see you in whatever we play next.